As long as we have no box at the Academy, we are not in the front rank of society, whatever we may pretend. The Academy must have a list of applicants as long as you're armed. And I'm sure Mrs. Astor tried to help. Are you? <laughs> I'm not. At the top of season two, we find that Bertha is now being invited to all the best parties. She has acquired a new home in Newport. But the one thing that's still lacking for her is a seat at the Academy, which is the opera. She knows that if she doesn't have a box at the Academy, she's not really part of the elite. The opera is where society puts itself on display. And the leaders take boxes where they meet each other and their children court each other. And that is how the wheels of society turn. The opera was a war, an absolute battle between old New York and new New York. I love all that. Because new money weren't allowed to get a box at the Academy, they built their own opera house because they had the money to do it. The penny is dropping about how different these people are and how different their approaches and their strategies and their even morals are. The framework of the season is built on Bertha Russell's journey trying to control who is going to sit at the head of the table. I begin to grasp your plan, and you seem to have won the first battle. I intend to win the war. We pick up with Peggy in season two, back with her family, facing the realities of what needs to be resolved there. We have been trapped in this trio of regret for too long. She needs a distraction, so she does throw herself into her work. I became a journalist to cover stories exactly like this. She's more voracious than ever to go on different adventures and to create a path for herself. Having been inspired by Peggy throughout season one, we see Marion in season two a little more headstrong, a little bit more confident. Because of Marion, the Agnes-Ada relationship becomes more adversarial, and with that, Ada's world changes. Can you get away tomorrow evening? Agnes doesn't keep me captive. George's main struggle this season is with his workers at his factory who are beginning to organize. Eight hours of work, eight hours of rest. We're very accustomed to the opulence of the gilded world. And what we have an opportunity to see this season is a contrast with some of the very real issues of America in the 19th century. The money is a leitmotif in the first season, then in the second season, all of that gets really juicy. The question I think remains for Bertha, will she ever be satisfied? The battle between the Russells and the Brooks will reach a sort of grander scale. There's so much drama in season two. It's just so intoxicating and then so shocking and terrifying. Mrs. Russell is even more of a fighter than I had realized. Gratitude is not a natural instinct in that class. Agnes. 